Hi. Welcome back to Carla Astrology. This is Carla. <laughs> I'm actually <clears throat> almost to the back of my property here. Um, didn't think I'd see any mushrooms, but I thought I'd take a walk back here to look. Um, we got about 10 acres. Sorry about that. We got about 10 acres back here a lot of a lot of wildlife you don't really see too much right now it's probably because i'm not graceful as i'm walking back here but i thought i'd share the scenery um i'm gonna head back we just had a storm which interesting enough like there was a lot of rain but uh Um, the, the ground was, um, thirsty because it's very dry. So. Ooh. I love being outside, especially, especially when it's, you know, kind of. I don't know, balmy, and which it's funny. We had snow over the weekend, and and it's 70 degrees weather today, and thunderstorms. So anyway, I'd take you on a little walk with me. So I hope everyone joins. Joins me this coming Saturday talking about the four agreements. Um, <clears throat> you know, because I, I'm very, very spiritual, you know, but I think that sometimes a good self help book helps us to relate to each other, you know, to coexist without judgment. And personally, you know, I believe in God, but I believe in, like, the source, you know, the unnamed God. Not the one from the Old Testament who seems to be very judgmental and has an agenda. Personally, I don't think the God that I believe in does. I think we're here to experience and upgrade and, you know, every one of us. And uh, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to upgrade. And I think the upgrade comes like the upgrade to a, a higher consciousness. You know, if I can do that before I die, I think that the crossover process might be, might be a little bit easier. The transition, you know. I've seen a lot of death so far. I think we all have. Um, <clears throat> I remember seeing a, a video on TikTok. This medium said that she thought that the movie with Robin Williams, um, What Dreams May Come, I think is, I think that's what it was called. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. That that was the closest thing to the other side that she felt like the um, spirits or the the people that had crossed over uh, described the other side to her. I also seen um, a video about a man that had a near-death experience and in this experience he went to this place they had almost like a, a grand meeting hall, you know, like it was a big, had big white pillars like to the entrance. And then on the inside, it was this big, huge uh, room where people were meeting for like orientation to go to the other side. And after he got through orientation, he went into this big field and the first thing that greeted him was 
uh, a pet that he had had and then all the pets that he had had. Well, in that movie um, with Robin Williams, that was that happened to him. It's like he crossed over and one of the first things that happened was he he uh, was reunited with his dog. Because, like, you know, I mean, we have unconditional love for, for our animals, and they unconditionally love us, so it's like, and, and children, you know, but, I mean, animals are, they're so innocent, you know. It's, it's just very meaningful that that's, like, the first thing that you're reunited with is something that you loved unconditionally and it loved you unconditionally back. So it's like, what greater reward is there than that, you know? So I get, um, <laughs> according to my sleep app, I get um, periods throughout the night where I'm not breathing because I'm snoring. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so one night I fell asleep on my back and, uh, I awoke in my dream and I was very lethargic at first, you know, so I kind of slid off my bed. Granted, I was still dreaming. So I slid off my bed and then I stood up in my bedroom and I realized, holy crap, I'm dreaming. <laughs> it's like, you know, hello, lucid dreaming. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And uh, I look around the bedroom. And in the corner of my bedroom, there's this woman standing in the corner. And um, she holds out her hand to me, you know, and, and like all of a sudden... I'm, I'm like looking through, uh, um, like a time traveling lens or whatever. And, um, <laughs> I look towards the stairs of my stairwell or look towards the stairwell and Bob's coming up the stairs and he's all gray and, um, he's smiling and he's looking at me and, and he points out the bedroom window and out the bedroom window was like, like here, what you're seeing right now was a uh, like a, a street like a street in town and there was a truck parked outside um, like parked on the street you know like how, how you park when you're in town on the side of a street and there were sidewalks and bushes and it was like I don't know maintained very nicely like a like a, a in town sidewalk you know but it was our house and, um, I, uh, look back at Bob and he just said, yeah, everything's great. Every, everybody is great. Um, everything's going really well, he says. But I knew when I was talking to him that, um, he was like reassuring me that everything was fine in the future because I wasn't there. And... So then I turned to the lady and, um, because I was happy, you know, I was very happy. Everything is fine. And, um, she looks at the, um, she points to the, our attic door and, um, she goes to it and she opens it up and it's, that attic door probably comes to my, my chest. So I duck down to go through the door and I'm following her. And, um, she keeps looking back at me to make sure I'm following. And as I, when I, when we walk into it, it's like, it's a whole other realm. It's, it's not even my bedroom anymore. It's a, it's like a, a, a hallway. And the hallway is, um, uh, leads to this big, massive meeting room. Just like that fellow I described in his orientation. It was huge. It's like almost like an like um i don't know if you've been to uh like a city building or whatever you know um but it had it had like um 
like rows of seats. It's like it had a big old floor, open floor, and on the outside of the floor was like, um, like surrounding it was like these levels of stairs, like little levels, and, and on each of these um, levels were desks and people sitting at the desks, and then there were people sitting in chairs at the desks, like it looked like they were being interviewed or um, I guess I would say like an orientation. And so I'm following this lady, you know, and she's walking in front of me and she keeps looking back, making sure that I'm following her and she keeps changing her appearance. You know, it's like she's not the same woman. Um, so then she takes me to one of these desks and I sit down and um, she says, okay, I just need you to wait here. <clears throat> I know it's the same woman. She just was physically changing her appearance. And, um, as I'm sitting there, I, I, I was, I knew I was on the other side and, um, I knew that it was like an orientation. So, you know, it's just, you know, what's going on, you know? Um, and there was, a a fella that looked like he was a cop sitting at one of the other desks waiting to um, talk to somebody. And he like turned around in his seat and was looking at me. And he goes, you know, we've been, we've been waiting for you. We've been um, like preparing a place for you. And uh, he come over and uh, he looked at me and he was like kind of looking at me funny and then he goes and he gets the lady and she comes back with a like a tissue or something and she's dabbing at my forehead and as she's dabbing at my forehead I, I back in my bed and I wake up <laughs> um, there might have been a little bit more to it than that but without looking at my dream journal that's that's what I remember but so it's like that place that that fellow went to the fact that um, he's, you know, was reunited with his pets is just, it's all like, you know, and, and of course I seen that other video like way after I had the dream myself. So, I mean, it's just confirmation, I guess, validation that that what's on the other side just is not scary. It's a continuation. It's like, it's just a continuation. There's my neighbors. I think they're selling that house. <laughs> it's just a continuation. You know, um, and I mean, think about being reunited with uh, the things that you loved unconditionally and loved you unconditionally, you know, your animals. I mean, it's uh it's amazing um i don't know i just thought i'd share that as i was walking um <clears throat> you know thinking about this talk that's coming up it's like as i'm upgrading in my consciousness it's like i uh, i'd have to get out my my notes um about the levels of consciousness but it's like if you were born into a, a a female body then it's the the consciousness is um male it's like you're trying to balance out uh you know your 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 whole essence your whole self your energies so so for myself it's the um anyway i'd have to maybe i could tack it on to the end of this video um, I, I feel like I'm in the, the last stage of that. Maybe there's like four stages. So maybe it's, maybe I'm in the third going into the fourth or, but it's like, I, I don't, I don't want to preach. I just want to share. And I just hope that, um, I just want to coexist and be happy peace love and light you know like the i don't know <laughs> just not judge anybody for for their path because why would i want to do that
You know, each of our paths are, are different. It works for us. Whatever works for us. Whatever makes us happy. And, and truly recognizing what that is. You know? Truly recognizing what that is and being honest with yourself. So, the four agreements is just something that um, helps me to, like, I don't want to say avoid drama or, um, because you don't want to avoid it, but you want to work through it. I mean, you want people to feel like they're heard. Absolutely. You know, if they, if, if they're troubled. But you don't want to add to the, at least I don't, I don't want to add to their pain or their discomfort or, you know, I want to maybe help them with a solution if I can without judgment. So these little, you know, things that come along like the four agreements I thought were gold because it helps me to you know um, not be in a place of judgment and realize that we're all responsible for our own thoughts our own behavior so that no matter what your neighbor does or your family or even your kids or somebody that might have ill intent towards you honestly unless they're a child that is still in need of guidance they're responsible for their own path too and it has nothing to do with me so anyway I hope you join us um, and I hope you enjoy and I hope to do more, more things like that. Maybe talk about um, great books that we've read and and uh, upgrading our our consciousness to where we are coexisting peacefully. I think I think it's in, it's entirely possible. <laughs> you know, I'm only human, and I know that there's still things that um, upset me. And there's still things that might even trigger me. But the point is, is I recognize it and then I, I, I handle it or I don't. The point is, is I'm recognizing it where before it was like, I don't know, wasn't in any recognition coming on. It was more of a, uh, a just reacting to everything, you know. So, anyway, I'm almost back up to my house. Uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys another time. And I will see you Saturday. And um, I love you.